welcome back to Therapy Designs. My name is Kelly and this is my dog Xander and this is the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to print-on-demand and would like to see some useful videos and helpful tips and tricks, be sure to stay tuned, hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this design right here using a tribal style butterfly and a splatter effect. This is actually a really simple and really cool uh, effect that you can use in Canva. This video will be on the shorter side, so stick around. Okay, so as always, we're going to start with a blank background. Uh, for this design, it's going to be easiest to start with a gray background because I'm going to be using some black and white elements and it's going to make it so that you can easily see where the elements are. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a medium gray backdrop. Again, it doesn't matter because when we export it, it will be on a clear backdrop and so you can put it on any shirt color that you like, but for right now I'm just going to be designing on gray. Now I've gone ahead and looked up a lot of the elements I want to use earlier to save time. So I'm going to come up here to elements and I'm just gonna go to my recently used. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna be using this right here, Tribal Butterfly, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do a little bit of a splatter effect. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I've saved here some of the splatter designs I like, just so that you're aware, if you were to go up here and search splatter, and go to graphics, you can see there's a lot of different um, splatter effects that you can use and that you can pick from. Um, some of them come in different colors, some of them you can select the color on. So there's a lot of cool things that you can do with the splatter effect. I've gone ahead and just saved some that I like. And so I will show you how I'm gonna get started. So I can pick any one I wanna start with, it's gonna come up. I can put it down to whatever size I want and I am just gonna overlay it just like that, pretty easy. And I can do this with as many of these as I like. I can use them anywhere that I want. I can use them multiple times. So it's just a cool design that I can do. I can flip it upside down. I can shrink it. We can make it different sizes. Um, this one is going to give me a cool dripping effect if I make it vertical so it looks like it's dripping. I can shrink it down again to any size that I like. I can put it anywhere that I like. And so you can just play with these. You can overlap them. You can change the sizes. Um, this does become a lot more complicated once we start using multiple colors. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to show you simply in black and white to keep it pretty simple. But there's definitely some some cool things you can do with colors on these as well. Um, making it black and white uh, makes it very simple because I don't have to worry about matching any of the colors to the, um, to the design. Oops, maybe I do, that one's not quite black. Um, okay, so again, I can just keep adding layer after layer after layer whatever size I like. And so it's pretty easy to just drag and drop if you um, have already pre-selected some of the ones you like. Another really cool feature you can do is if I click on any one of these designs, and I hit Control D, it'll automatically duplicate it for me. So it will duplicate it in the exact size and orientation that it was in. So I hit Control D and I can do that as many times as I want and then just move around. So that's a big time saver there if you have a particular um, image that you wanna be able to duplicate multiple times. That's just a really easy way to do it. And so you can see, I can just keep continuing this as, as far down as I want. I can make a big splatter if I wanted to. Um, if I wanted the whole thing to look like it's splattering out, I can do it like that. So, 
as you can see, you can just play with it as much as you want, make as much splatter or as little splatter as you want. Now, if everything on here is the same color, what we can do now, if I want this to be white on a black backdrop, is I can click any one of these, go to color, hit white, and it will automatically, if I put change all, change everything from the starting color to white. So there we go. Now it is white, and if I was to change it to a black background shirt, that is the design that you would come up with. So that is a really easy way to get a splatter effect. Now, if I had a butterfly and I had this butterfly a pink color, now you can clearly see where all the splatter has, has ended up. Now, if I wanted it all to match, again, I could pick any one of these splatters, come up to colors, and the butterfly color is up here. This is the color I used. I could change it and then again hit change all. And so it is really simple. You can see when we're doing everything in one color. Now again, this can become very challenging once we have multiple colors that we're trying to match or if we're trying to create different color splatter. I can show you that in a later video, but this one I just wanted to keep really simple for you. So this is essentially how you would do a cool splatter design using uh, Canva. That's it for this video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative, and we'll see you next time.